Here's the second Pythagorean trigonometry question. They tell you that the tangent of 22 degrees equals t. Now the secret of that is you can write that as t over 1. So we're going to draw a triangle, but the opposite side is t and the adjacent side is 1. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. And the first question here, you get a deal if you can just reduce this. The tangent of 338, what is that? Well, it's 22, it's in the third quadrant, and it's 22 degrees away from being 360. 360 minus um, 338, it's really the tangent of 22 degrees. But in that fourth quadrant, you have to know tangent's negative. So the tangent of 338 is really the tangent of 22, but it's negative. But we were told that the tangent of 22 is t, so the answer is minus t. We didn't need the diagram for that, but we're going to need the diagram for the next part. Now the cosine of 158, well, what's the reference angle? That's t Where is it? It's in this um, second quadrant, and it's 22 degrees away from being 180. The reference angle is 22. So it's minus the cosine of 22 degrees. Now I can't do this if I don't have a diagram. There are other ways of doing it, but the diagram makes it pretty easy. Because uh, there's 22 degrees, the opposite side is t, the adjacent side is 1, and I can just use Pythagoras to figure out the hypotenuse. I go 1 squared, 1 times 1, plus t squared, t squared, and I take the square root. That gives me what um, c is. You square the two sides and take the square root. That's what Pythagoras is. Well, now we know the hypotenuse. We know the adjacent side is 1. So negative the cosine of 22 degrees must be the negative of the adjacent 1 over the hypotenuse of root t squared plus 1. So there we have it. There's that um, Pythagorean thing where we had to make our own triangle.